Good afternoon. It's August 16th. You're in Paris, France, leaning up against the wall and thinking about death. No, it's nothing all that morbid, really. Um, you know, the, the other day I was talking about Jim Morrison, how he's buried here in France. Um, and I was just thinking about that. And he, uh, if, if you think about it, he's, he's been immortalized in a way through his death. You know, by, by simply having his name on a gravestone and by having people visit every single day, bring gifts and look at it and acknowledge that he is buried there, he is immortalized, he lives on just through the memory of these people who are visiting. So, but, uh, and, and so we can see in that way that people are immortalized or, or live on through, just through memory and just through, uh, through having a name somewhere. But I saw something that kind of proved the opposite the other day. You see, I went to the catacombs of Paris, which uh, used uh, a little bit of history on that. It used to be a rock quarry where they, they b brought up stones to, for the buildings. Uh, but then they found out that a graveyard nearby a neighborhood was a little bit hazardous to people's health. So they, uh, yeah, it was a little bit, sorry, distracted. Uh, it was a little bit hazardous to people's health. So they decided to move all the bones in this mass grave to this quarry and make it into a bit of a tourist attraction. Um, no, but it, it is, uh, it, it's became an ossuary, I believe is the right word. It's a collection of bones. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. But uh, it, it became an ossuary where, where they uh, care, keep many, many bones. And uh, anyway, you go down there, it's, it's very dark, it's, uh, it's very quiet, it's a little bit cool and damp, and it's, it's quite humbling because you see walls upon walls of bones. And you get leg bones and arm bones stacked in a neat little squarish stacks and they use the skulls to make patterns such as crosses, hearts, altars, just, just patterns in the bones and it became this big decorative thing. But then I was thinking about it and not a single one of those skulls has a name attached to it. Every single person who is buried there is anonymous. And that is amazing because there are thousands upon thousands of people in those, in those catacombs. And it, it just made me think the contrast. Let's think back to Jim Morrison now. That is a single man, a single body under a single grave with a single name on a single tombstone. Whereas this is thousands upon thousands of people contributing millions of bones and not a single one of them has a name to it. So, this is just a little bit of thought here. This is not just a, an entertaining travel blog. Uh, uh, bring this discussion down, down under uh, in the thingy. Um, what do you think? Do you think ultimately uh, death immortalizes people? Or does death uh, leave people by the wayside? Are you forgotten in death or are you remembered? Or is it somewhere in between? Start the discussion. I'd like to see some uh, some constructive stuff. Anyway, uh, something more. I'll, I'll I'll do more travel stuff tomorrow, or next day, or whenever I make my next video. Safe travels, everyone. See you at the next location.